What's good, YouTube gang? It's your boy Boss, man. Checking in with another one. You see, I got the 2009 Vic in the air. Finna change out the fuel pump on it. And, uh, as you can see, you know, I got a fuel pump in there. It was, it was worth it. Now, I just want to let you know, when you go to take this fuel pump out, if your Vic is not lifted, because as you can see, this is stock Vic. Like, it's, it's not lifted at all. Like, look, man, it's so tight up in there. I got it loose. Right here, this plug. I end up, you know, using a little angle I got on top of it. And then I was able to push down on the clip and then just rotate it like that and get it to pop off. But if your Vic lift it, you can just reach your hand right up in there, plug it in right there. Go right there. But uh, like I gotta say, that was the hardest thing, you know, trying to get that unplugged. <clears throat> like I say, anybody that don't know where the fuel pump is located, You see, you got two plugs, so you got your main plug right there, which I already pulled loose. You got your fuel line right here, which it hooks up right there. This is the old one. I'm going to get ready to pull it out, which is, it's a special way you got to do it because, like I said, you got the, you know what I'm saying, the exhaust right here. This is your special tool you're going to need. You know, you put it over the over that line it just pops right around it and then you just push it in when you push it in you feel it when it go you just grab the line pull it right on off and you want to do this when you you barely have gas in it because as you see it's a big hole like right up in there and if you take that off and it's full of gas you know you're gonna get gas everywhere but I'm going to try to show you how to pull this out. It's really hard to do this work and hold the camera. You know, but. <clears throat> I'm going to try to get it out of there and show you, you know, how to maneuver thing. I look, I might have to end up dropping the tank because that's why right here that shit it's going across the tank. So I hope I hope I don't I I'll cut it and pull it out and just damn reroute it. Let's see. Yeah. I'm out of hold up for a minute. I'm out to I'm about to see these lines. I'm about to cut these right here. It's going across, which goes to that plug I showed you on the side over there. That's up above the tie. A little plug that's hanging. My fact, it's running right there. I wonder why I should be able to just pull that. I should be able to. Hey, I'm spot over here. Yeah. All right. Got it down right here. Yeah, make sure you safety first, man. You got your PP on, PPE on, you know, safety glass. But, uh, basically, you want to pull it that way. I don't know if it is a slide. It's shit. 
acting like you don't want to slide. Well, one thing about me, let me see. See, I don't like to fight with nothing, man. See, I ain't even with all that. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut that wet. Yeah, like I said, you know, get you some cutters. I'm gonna cut that wet, man. I'm not, I'm not into all that. I don't like, I like to work smart, not hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, you're gonna be cutting wise, you're working around gas, gas gonna waste it well. Make sure you got your battery disconnected. <laughs> Last thing you want is it for it to blow up on your ass. <laughs> you don't want that. <sighs> Alright. Hopefully. Hopefully y'all can see that. I hope so. Let's see. Hey, Jack in the way. Hopefully, y'all can see that right there. But pull that way just fine. You got Got that loose, came up easy. Basically, you want to push it up. Just made at an angle so you can push it up. Put blow the ring in and then another slide pass. And then you wanna rotate it. Uh oh. Little gas gonna come out this little left in it. Alright, you seen it just fell up. I don't know if y'all seen that, but I rotated it. See, it's here. I kept twisting it. And see, it now it fell. It's right on top of the rear end. So basically, now you see I'm. I don't know how good you can see because I'm recording on the phone, but I get up there close. Alright. See, I'm about there, so you can just grab it. Flip it on up. Keep going back with it. 
like that. Pull it right on up with it. Rotate it. Pull it up, rotate it. And she gonna come on out of like that. See, she out. So basically, she's sitting right on top of the ring. So, I'm gonna rotate on down like this. Right on out through the front right there. Turn it sideways. Like this. Come on down to me. Now basically, oh shit. I got out of there. Oh, I Three, four, five, six. They match up. Got it on out of there. Like I say, reason I'm pulling this thing in. Hey, boy, look, I don't know. She look crazy, man. Compared to looking at this. See, that's probably my problem. You see that? Because you see. I got the tube there and it's hooked up there. That's my damn problem right there. See, so a lot of people don't know when you got a a P0191 code, first thing it came up, it told me it was the uh, fuel pressure regulator. Which, one thing about me, I told you already, I'm finna go through this traffic anyway. That was one of the first things I had already changed. So I knew that was brand new. It shouldn't have been throwing that code. So, in order for the fuel to get there, it got to come from the fuel pump. And every time I pressed the gas or whatever, it just it kept acting like it was out of gas. So, like I said, I just went with my instinct because I already had to replace the fuel filter too. And happy dog. As you see, it's broke. Like, it don't even have a piece that goes there on there. So... Like somebody already had and did some damn rigging up anyway, you see, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, you know, with gas and stuff like that, I don't fool around like that. You know, I don't do no rigging up, especially inside no goddamn gas tank. That's like a fucking bomb, man. Like, you never do that. Uh-uh. You gonna buy it, buy it already original wired up correctly. Don't, especially, look at that. I don't do stuff like that. But connectors, no, man. You solder the wire. And you heat shrink it. You don't look at they taping, man. You don't do that. Well, like I said, this boss man, man. I'm back at you with another video. Like, subscribe, comment, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it, y'all. I just need y'all to subscribe to my channel, man. I'm gonna be bringing y'all more and more and more. Like I said, I want to get it set up to where. I can give y'all real content, man. I know I'm giving y'all a lot of short videos and everything because I'm just trying to show you what I can do. You know what I'm saying? Promote my business. Like, I got a legit business. Like, I give out receipts. I file taxes on what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Boss, man. And I'm out.